Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another Spets Plays. We continue on with the Bad Company series, and this time it's Bad Company 2. Quite possibly, overall, the best multiplayer shooter that came out during the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 era. No joke. I put so many freaking hours in this goddamn game. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I adore this game to no end. There has not been a bad a Battlefield game that I have liked before or since as much as I have loved this game. Oh, the hours I have put into this game. So we're going to be rocking the campaign. I should have everything all set up. I already went intern on this. Audio settings and everything. I want to make sure everything's good to go. I told this thing not to tell me that crap. I have not played this game in a long, long time. Uh, let me make sure. Yep, everything's good to go. Alright. Campaign. Play them. So we have easy, normal, and then veteran. We're all on fire. Where are we going to play normal? Again, so until I hit the thousand subs. Guys, oh, this is autumn 1944. To see Japan, not long before the atomic bomb would bring it into World War II, a small group of U.S. commandos were sent to extract a Japanese scientist with war decisive information. On the 6th of October at 0600 hours, Operation Aurora commenced. 20 minutes later, it was over. The fate of Operation Aurora was kept from the, for kept from the public. All records were destroyed. It became a myth. This is what really happened that day. No, it's not. This is a friend of the game. But, there is some truth to this. This is actually a black hey, weapon project that the Japanese did. There it is. Now we wait. Sarge, you think this roar thing's really there? That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say. What do you think, McKee? I don't know, Faraday. But I guess you're gonna tell me. See, the way I figured, we get atomic bombs, crowds got V2s, Japs have gotta have something too. We're here for the scientist. That is it. Hey, Able Squad's ready, Sarge. Okay. Start the engine. Take us in. So, anyways. This actually, if you look into this, there was actually a black weapon that the Japanese had. We secured it, and then we didn't hear from it because they claimed it was lost. Let me turn this down. That bunch of going nuts. Alright, good to go now. Hopefully it's not too loud on my end. I'll check audio and everything after the mission's over. If I need to re-record this, I will. Why we're trying to sneak up to this place, we now turn on the engine. But what I love about this game is it starts off in World War II and ends up in the uh, modern day. You know, the regular bad company guys. But I'm sitting watching this going, man, why can't we get a World War II freaking battlefield like this? This is kind of crap. There. Up there, patrol. Stay on able. Kill the engine. Man, they would have heard that freaking thing that close. Which just kind of came out, I think, right after 1943 came out. So this is using some assets from that. And that again, that was one of my favorite battlefields. Where the fuck are they headed? Shit. Get down. I should be looking around for more stuff. Blub, blub, blub. But 
Yeah, this game is freaking sick. We're clear. Anyone hit? Devil Squad didn't make it, Sergeant. Shit. All right. It's up to us then. How come it ain't started yet, Sarge? They said 0600. Right on time. Hope it worked. The key. If they can tape what we're throwing at them now, they can keep the defector. Let's get moving. Now we get to play. So one thing I notice, and is kind of the reason why I can't fly helicopters in this game is let me show you something with the controls so I got the land-based you know the vehicles with the same controls as Bat Company 1 however when you go to the air controls you see the triggers are the ascend descend buttons okay got that all right uh, you close to Bat Company 1 those are not the controls for Bat Company 1 they aren't they just aren't so Way to go, EA and DICE. Once again, you do the stupidest goddamn thing. Get one freaking job. I swear you could have crouched in this game. Or prone, but it's not. But yeah, this is a very dark part of this game. Okay. Two of them. Quiet. Take the one on the left. Ah! You're not die already, you... Son of a bitch! You got that? You yeah. good? About a thousand to go. Come on. Yeah, the knife is freaking sick in this gun. Give me my gun now. Why do I have a Type 100? I don't want to use this. Where's my Tommy gun? I had a Tommy gun. Yeah, B-17 bombers coming in. We're on high road. Quiet. Take the trenches. Are we going to take care of those guns, Sarge? Tell me we're there to end the mission. Oh, some thunderbolts coming in, too. You get that. How much your Tommy gun, man? It's one thing that didn't make it into the multiplayer game was this gun right here. I freaking love the Type 100 submachine gun. It's such a good gun the Japanese had. This was actually one of the better SMGs of World War II. <gasps> a Garand. I'll have some of that. This was my bread and butter gun in multiplayer. You see, if you had like the. Uh, Gold edition of this game, you got an M1 Grand, you could use a multiplayer. It was just, just the best. Really, it's not much recoil. Did that ping? Should have pinged. I think I need to turn the sensitivity down. To the sensitivity down one peg. Let's do that. What should do it? I don't hear no ping. Yeah, I don't hear no tank. Yeah, give me the SMG bag. Come on, where was it? Oh. oh, I got it here. It's getting lighter out. SMG's just get pretty good. Let's go. Climb up there. Oh, there's zeros. Some 
Oh, I'm fucking going. Oh, you guys are already going? Okay. Coming too. Yeah, this game is freaking gorgeous. Come on. Even more so than the first game was. This is when they really got the Frostbite engine going good, and I still say the Frostbite one's better than Frostbite 2. I have yet to see something in Frostbite 2 that made me sit there and go, wow, this is just so much better. Down there, across the field, go. Mines, watch your step. Stop! Get down! Down! Sounds like a tank. Yep, this is a Chiha from uh, 1943. See, they used a lot of assets from 1943. It's fine because they all look good. And that's not a Chiha Kai, that's just a Chiha. A Chiha Kai's got a long barrel uh, 57mm gun on it. That's actually pretty freaking good. That's got the short barrel. The guys, we're over here. Watch it with your Corsairs. Off of my HUD. Let's see what that does. Give me my ammo count back. No, it's just this World War II mission. Okay. I don't need a reload hint. Hey, you need to reload your gun. Let's find this guy. You can see my feet? Nope, it's one of those shooters. I'm a disembodied head with arms. Hey! You sucked at flying one of the best fighters of World War II. Good job. I shoot down Corsairs all freaking day long in War, in War Thunder with a zero. But you can out turn them like freaking crazy. Keep it together. Come on. But if a Corsair does use his you know, tactical advantage of speed and climb rate, the zero struggles. It really does. God, it's so freaking beautiful. Now the fun begins. Come on, keep going. All right, so move, this mission too move. much longer. Yeah, this Type 100 SMG is freaking good. The Japanese did not build enough of. Them. Yeah, this thing's freaking creepy. I don't the sound of that at all? Just keep moving. Yeah, the black weapon is something that's just. There's not a lot of information on it. There really isn't. I tried looking it up to get ready for this LP, and there's not your next to Delta. Right. All right, fellas, get ready, go. And that's what it was actually called was the Black Weapon. Let me go. Stop interrupting me with cutscenes. Cause we're about to have some fun. Oh no, you're gonna give me grenades, okay? All right, hit him now. Let's go. Get 
kick on nothing in Japan, but... Oh, the at what? What happened? Huh? That's the first death, and I don't know where it came from or how it even happened. I just fell over. Alright. They said go capture a vehicle. They said, okay, I want to go capture the vehicle. And they said, no, you're going to be dead now. American 30 cows and Japanese jeeps. Step on it. Uh, Are you stepping on it? Looks like point. Okay, you watch your head, Wyatt. Keep pulling that trigger. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Two wheels. Two wheels. That's not cool. I think I'm doing. Yeah, I really wish they would have put this gun in the multiplayer, but they didn't. It was only, it's only here. Come on, guys. The submarines are down there. Get over here. Wyatt, hurry up. Blow the door. Let me just look at this freaking this scene right here. You got a fortress on fire up there, you got AA guns going off, you got fighter planes flitting around everywhere, bombing stuff, blowing things up. Stand back! Oh, you guys need to get a little farther back than that for TNT. Then we're taking it up. Can you even drive us up? No, we'll improvise. It doesn't matter. We're all dead men. Just keep fucking going! Red group should have commandeered a sub in the far pen over there. If we're lucky they're still here. Not scientists, right? We're dead. Oh, Type 400s. Those are the ones with the uh, aircraft. They're basically like small aircraft like carriers. Coming down around our ear. Better move back. Come on.
If I remember right, suppressing fire is a thing in this game. Yeah, you can sprint and reload at the same time. Which is nice. The movement and the aiming and everything in this game is just way better. Because every gun has its own unique feel, handling, all that. Well, we gotta move it. Stop leaving! It's leaving! Run for it! Am I going the right way? Like so? There we go. This mission is over. So get ready. Here's the, uh... Yeah. Come on, come on, move it! Get that goddamn hatch open! We made it. We made it. You see? I told you we'd make it, Wyatt. That's a little weird. Russia. <laughs> oh, those T90 main battle tanks. Oh, I've killed many a poor fool with that. Russia has expressed concern about the system, claiming that such a weapon could be used for offensive reasons. Yeah. Russia's basically like invading all over the place. They have a good military, but it's not that strong. They can't wage war on two fronts like that. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll go all the way up to where I can cut the video here to the initial cutscene. This will introduce us back to the old boys. And as soon as I get control of Preston, we will see about uh, checking audio levels and such. As I keep forgetting just how good looking this game is. Even by today's standards, this looks good. Everything's very detailed. They were bad company. We were here in Russian territory to back up a U.S. counterintelligence operation. A simple support mission, they said. Nothing's ever really that simple, though. Is it? I can't believe you're leading us through another minefield, Haggard. You all are some stupid people. Hey, <laughs> they're former down there. Marlow. How much time? And off said five. No problem. We're there in three. But yeah, if you wanted somebody to lead you through a minefield, it'd definitely be Haggard, because the guy's an explosive GPS genius. GPS is getting no strikes on our guy down there. Are you sure he's here, Sarge? Yeah, if HQ didn't fuck us with old intel. What are the odds of that? Whatever. We're almost clear. Any up. That was fucking magic, Sarge. You got my back for real. You don't die on my last mission. Marlo, you got a point. Our guy's gonna be out there all alone if we don't hurry up. Let's go.
sooner it is. And that'll be next time on Bad Company 2. I'll catch you guys then. Later.